Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where I am ready to just uh, lay down in a corner and cry. Let's go. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? Didn't you want to Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. I thought I was supposed to talk to Hackett. No? Ooh, I don't know what that was. Uh, I could have sworn somebody said that she, he needed to talk to me. Is it this one? Does somebody need to talk to me on here? No? Look at that. We almost have the minimum. Or not Rex. Yeah, I think you can get some Solarium forces and the Krogan forces if you do the... Oh, and I didn't talk about it. Um, yeah, if you... If you try... Because Morden knows no matter what. Even if you don't say anything about the Shroud Sabotage, Morden knows. Like, he figures it out when he gets there. And you have to try to stop him if you don't want it to go through. And you, he will he will fight you, essentially. He will try to stop you. And uh, you have to kill him in, like, cold blood. Uh, you just gotta, he's like, I think, I'm pretty sure he's unarmed, and you have to shoot him. And it's just, that's why I'm like, you're an actual monster. Unless you're, like, do right, unless you're, like, doing it to, like, put a, you know, like, a clip of it on YouTube to be like, here's what it is, and then reload and go back and n not do that. Um, I think that is probably the most monstrous thing you can do. <laughs> uh, but you have to shoot him. And then I don't know. I actually not a hundred percent sure how it plays out. Like if the if the if like the cure goes up there anyway, and it like disperses out, and everyone's like, "Yeah, he's cured," and like Morden's dead, and it's like, "Oh my gosh." Yeah, over who was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has significantly weakened Krogan forces, which I I appreciate that her death does actually do that because the women and this is I swear she says this in some discussion, but like the women were like a, tended to be like a stabilizing influence and like having the men just like go off on their own and be like psychos is like one of the reasons that the the Krogan are failing as a people is that like they're they're designed to be in harmony like in balance right where like the women like they kind of have a power but they really don't um they're just kind of used as like i said before like vessels essentially if they are fertile which is why they're kept apart is because like they have to defend themselves from the krogan males who would just like go crazy um but yeah they um with the two working and get in like harmony essentially it creates like a balancing force but without that it's a bit more fragmented uh-huh knock more uh-huh krogan mercenaries yep the drifters came back. So yeah, you get a big... And that's the thing, is it's so funny that the Salarian's like, our help in the long run is worth more than the Krogan. And I'm like, Pfft. like you overestimate yourself, lady. <laughs> uh, what did I... Yeah, well, Major Kirihi has expressed that, like, there's a lot of Salarians who would be on my side, you know? Uh, and not everybody listens to them, but like having the full might of like the government backed stuff is not going to be in the realm of possibility anymore, but I don't really care. Bethany, you see the bids of the Maw taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and Yeah, so the well, both of them are gone the now, which is why we didn't see them. Commander. Admiral Hackett has requested oh, your help with the Novaria. base on Novaria. There we go. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see her in action. Yes, I am. Pretty amazing. 
your regrettable decision from Tower of blah, blah, blah. I'm deeply disappointed, made it clear, the cure, the blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Once the that is passed, do you even think that's even possible at this point still? Our combined force will be so depleted that no one... It's going to take him a while to grow up, like, give him a bit, you know? Wherever the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge in the Salarian Union, the blood of my people will be on your hands. Well, you know, at least we can survive the Reapers. I am also ashamed to learn our own scientist sacrifices like carrying out your orders. This right here means that I have like I she's on my hit list right here. Like I don't you just need to you need to just jump off the bridge, lady. Making babies will be so fun. May I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. Having Eve around would have helped. She would have been a great leader someday. You got a war to fight and lots of Krogans are itching to get into it. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> From General Corinthus, when you first arrived on Mene, I had a hard time seeing how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Crow fighters working together to take down Reaper Destroyer, I must admit I am impressed. You've brokered an alliance that many thought impossible. Palavin might be saved after all. General Corinthus, still fighting from Shiala. Yes. I don't know if the people have seen the articles, but the people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. This time, it's the Reapers instead of the Get. I'm not sure if you remember me. Help me back on Ilium. This is the Thorium woman. The spores in our bodies remain, and on some level, we are still connected. This, we, in Mass Effect 2, you get to interact with her on Ilium. Not Ilium. Yes. Yes, Ilium. Um, and try to figure out, like, th there's that whole thing where, like, they tried to, like, do an unethical medical thing on them. Not necessarily a bad thing. As we fight back the Reapers, we feel each other. Act with one mind, ignoring pain when the need arises. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my mind when I went willing to link to the Thorin as its thrall. But my connection to the people of Zeus Hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. That's interesting. The situation's imperfect and dangerous. Yes, perhaps the colonists, because the indoctrination could spread from her to them. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety, but will mind the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos. Our force is strong. I've not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We are leaving Pharaoh soon. When the time comes, we will fight with you. Pharos, a group of colonists on Pharos have managed a defense against driving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zeus Hope said to be survivors of a savage Geth attack. Repel the initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seize in platoons. The colonies are using improvised weapons as well as supplies established from a defunct Exogeny facility. The colony is our home. Colony spokesperson Elizabeth Bainham said we've survived worse and we know how to fight to get survived worse. I don't know about that. Colony is expected to have time for a full evacuation before more Reaper forces arrive. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. War asset acquired. Like, it is useful, but it's also like, oh, I'm sorry you have to do that. Alright, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? <laughs> How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. Ah. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the oh, rocket. Oh, dang. I actually did, I think I did a little bit of a paper on this, too. I, I told you I was in college when I played this. This was, like, my last year or so when I played this game. And I wrote a lot of papers on it. One of them was a, was like a humor in games or something class. And one of the, one of the topics was about, like, how um, jokes can like um what is it like i mean they obviously like disperse tension and like sometimes jokes can be like uh carriers of like you know really terrible stereotypes and stuff like that like that that are not pleasant but then like 
it shows a, a sort of camaraderie sometimes when you share certain ones of those jokes with people who are like kind of the I don't know it was like a whole, I think it was like a thing it was like like these two right they're sharing jokes about like Turians that have against humans and humans have against Turians and they're like bonding over it right like the ridiculousness of like the jokes you know and like none of them are like excessively cruel or anything but like you know it's it's a, it can be kind of a bonding thing to go over jokes that like kind of point out the differences in each other but like realizing that like the two individuals have a bond that surpasses that if that makes any sense never thought i'd see the krogan and the turians team up even the reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off i'd say more than a little I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe <laughs> in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not, but he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for yeah. me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. <laughs> There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history. Well, yeah, you have, like my this. guy. Well, yeah. <laughs> except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster <laughs> for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his, Reeve, took over. That could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, might have taken that Salarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. She's not perfect, but... Let's hope our luck holds. And it's, again, it's moments like that where Garrus takes time out to, like, chat with you. I mean, Liara kind of does the same thing, but I don't know. I never felt the same bond with Liara as I did with Garrus and like his his is more like I don't know like Commander, war Chief comrade Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. you know like he's he's been in the trenches with you like I mean Liara has too but like I don't know we're both Liara wasn't raised wasn't trained as like a soldier you know so see there we go Morden Solis is added to the wall. <sighs> Don't think I'd put Eve's name on here, but she just had the one name, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was nice having people. Oh, everything feels just empty again. Commander. sign of life? The reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Mm, not gonna happen, probably. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. <laughs> and Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. These are ours. That's the, I'm pretty sure Widow's the one in the um, Citadel. Traffic. Omega has seen an increase. Tasale, I don't know where that one goes, but that one goes to the planet. Or the asteroid, Omega. The genophage cured. The 
Krogan have no reason to hold back now, do they? Rex knows what he's doing, but can he keep the Krogan in check? I th or will this be the start of another Krogan Empire? And he did mention that. I swear there was... I don't know if I've done something different or what, but I swear there's like... Rex has... Like, you have like a more nuanced discussion in the old with Rex where he... Uh, where you're like... He's like, we're gonna do it peacefully. Like, we're not gonna like go crazy with the expansion stuff, but we're gonna... We're gonna, like, you know, have the same rights everybody else does. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Edie and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. I'm confident we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. Which is... It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety yeah. issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we should take every advantage we can get. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. That's definitely a massive design flaw, but it happens in every game. I think this, like I swear it happened in the last one too, where we had to get something similar. Yeah, because stuff was going to vent into that room. I thought we fixed that. <laughs> Jennifer is here, huh? This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which place is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. curious if I can see people moving through the window. I don't think it loads until we uh, go down there. Oh, hello? You good? Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Yeah. Bang. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. Interesting. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. common misconception about evolution is that the strong survive and the weak die. What it is, is the lucky survive and the unlucky die. Sometimes you get very kind of like strange vestigial traits that just pop up because they just kind of happen to mutate and happen to be passed along like it's not necessarily like like yes of course like some of the like the the better traits for survival will be passed on you're much more likely to have you know children and more children especially if you have like certain genetic traits that help keep you alive or like certain behavioral patterns that help keep you alive um and help you keep your offspring alive um, but yeah, no, it's not, it's not necessarily the strongest or the fittest, like, humans evolving to be what they are is such a, an odd, we're such, we're so weird, we're, we're so, we are not the strongest, you know, you, that's all you gotta look at is, like, humans were not the strongest, they were, they were lucky and they were smart, like, they got smart eventually, you know, and, like, certain traits, like, encouraged, like, the intelligence, you know, but like, I mean, you put up against a lion, a bear, like a hundred times out of a hundred, like a human's gonna die in a strength contest against one of those. Like, you know, it was just like certain 
other traits allowed for survivability. That's what it is. Evolution isn't like the strength or whatever. It's about survivability. So it's just interesting that a lot of people, and in his case, his people, considered it that way. I mean, you could say like strength of character, strength of mind, blah 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 blah. But usually, people just mean or the strongest, blah blah blah. You know, it's just a very oversimplification of a very complex phenomenon. Was this imperative just your scientist's opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos, the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. It doesn't sound like a good way to get strong. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara, I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. <laughs> you think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. I like that conversation a lot, um, but I also like the idea that Shepard's like ready, kind of ready to be done. You know, she's like, "We'll both be set free." She doesn't disavow what he said. Thank you, Commander. I have seen the death of a Reaper. It has been a long time. Let's hope it's the first of many. Yes. A difficult fight remains. I mean, for him, it... I would have accepted the Salarian deal. I know. And not told I know you would have. Morality and friendship do not matter now. Your allies are simply resources to use against the Reapers. No, I'm going for the friendship is magic approach. If the Krogan seek retribution for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. We need them. In the meantime, they are useful cannon fodder against the Reapers. I did think it was kind of funny that Rex is like, we can't look in the past. We have to look forward, Shepard. Don't let the past haunt you. And I'm like, you were the one who was mad about the 800-year-old bomb planted on your planet. <laughs> but I do think the death of Eve kind of gave him a different perspective on things. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. I care about what people think of me. Why well, I probably wouldn't be a good war leader. Can we can we go? Oh I am at friggin' I'm trying to go to Shuttle Bay. Just one more diagnostic suite. Okay, you're good then. Before I forget, let me We'll see. See how that goes with upgrades. I like the name, Spike Thrower. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not gonna start growing scales. Four anything, testicles. Right? Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Don't get me wrong, it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. It's like a medium one. Hey. Maybe I'll bring James out some more. Hear from him a bit. What's this? Procurement interface. Oh, yeah. Meta gel upgrades. Uh, what in, what in the heck? Yeah. Get that. Get that. Get that in my pocket. This is hard to do with a mouse. 
I thought that said post-cranial trauma system. I was like, excuse me. <laughs> it is marked up. I should not necessarily be buying this stuff now. It's marked up in here, but these are all things I don't really care about. Mmm. Hmm. Fully automatic sniper rifle. Spectre requisitions. They're beautiful. Okay. That was that was everybody, right? We talked to Liara, Javik. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, I clicked on every- I'm, I'm like trying to think. I'm like, no, I clicked on Joker and Garrus and we had their cutscenes. Everyone should be good. Actually, I need to check my... Journal. Not a big deal. So many priority missions. Let's go. Actually, really quick. Let me make sure I save. I think. Oh, I think I'll have a minute to do other things before things go pear shaped, as I've heard before. Oh my gosh, the sensitivity on this screen is insane. What this? Okay. This time, don't go to the front. Dog. That, like I have to click over here with the mouse. Usually, I just press A. Yeah, that's Omega. Okay, Alliance docks. Yeah. Alliance Control. This is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Nope. I don't have the time I thought I did. Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? He's like... Administrators. What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. I don't know why we don't have that open Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Seahawk, the Citadel is under attack. <laughs> Cerberus troops are everywhere, and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right, Joker. Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Yeah, those alarms. Aye, aye, Commander. Those alarms in the background are no joke. Let's see. Definitely bring gear is. Yeah, I like having Javik for his little quips, even if I'm like, shut up. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't care. We're good to go on that. Um, but yeah. I couldn't remember if I was going to be able to go to the, the, uh, talk to the Salarian Counselor first or what, but no. It is not <laughs> what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Ink 
increase the distance that it cascades. Yes, I use this as an AoE, so. This one is a single target. And the dark channel is pretty cool. Let me see. Increases damage to armor and barriers, or just increased damage overall. It is one of the only abilities that I think you can use on, like, consistently on armor and barriers, so I will get those. We got a lot of people here. A lot of people we know. And a lot of civilians. At least in the last encounter, it was mostly military. This is getting. This is this is this is Cerberus attacking like the home base for like everybody. All the refugees are here. Like how they were able to get in is just like what this is supposed to be the most secure place in the galaxy right now. You know, CSEC for all its faults is a uh... no. He's he'll be fine. Okay, Don't go. worry. Coming in hot. Get to cover. On it. Alright, and with that, I am actually gonna have to call it here, I think. <laughs> I think this will be too long, I should have maybe called it before all this started, but that's okay. We get a cliffhanger, we get to go in and save the freaking Citadel! <laughs> Which is just like... Oh, we just saved freaking Tirchanka, I lost two of our good friends. Oh, and now we gotta go defend the heart of what's left of any resistance, you know, of safety. <sighs> anyway, it just is non-stop in this game, so thank you all so much for watching, I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Miss Galito, my Sassy Tier patron, thank you so much for your support, and an extra special shout out to Adam, my Tree Tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support, I very much appreciate it a lot. And I want to give an extra, extra awesome shout out to Christopher, my tree or my forest tier patron. Thank you so much for your above and beyond support. I really do appreciate it a lot. And I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying this mad rush into Mass Effect sadness. So thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.